Example one. Now, it says here that many companies advertise their products at a pre-tax price. That means without the GST added. And here is the price list here of items without GST. You might wonder why they would do this. And, and there is a good reason, and to help you understand the reason, let's look at retail. Retail, or retailers, retailers, sell to the public, to us. And whenever we buy from a retail shop, we they give us their prices, including GST. So, And the reason they do that is so that we know exactly how much we're going to pay when we go to the counter. We, we don't want to have to calculate the GST on top of the price we're paying. Now, retailers, they actually buy from what are called wholesalers. And the wholesaler usually puts their prices excluding GST. And the reason they do that is because the GST isn't really paid until the retailer sells it. So these guys really don't have to include the GST in their prices. All right, let's get into this now anyway. Um, question A, how much would a hammer cost, including GST? So we've learned the formula percentage divide 100 times amount. And we're just going to use that each time. It's very useful. So um, GST is 10%, so 10 divide 100 times the amount of the hammer, which is 18, will give you a dollar eighty. Now the question wanted you to find the cost of the hammer including GST. So we know it costs eighteen dollars plus the GST of a dollar eighty. So the hammer will cost nineteen dollars eighty including GST. Alright, let's look at question B. How much would it cost to buy all four items including GST? So let's Add them all up. $18 for the hammer, $127 for the drill, $9.50 for the tape measure, and $8.70 for the handsaw. So what do we get? 18 plus 127 plus $9.50 plus $8.70 comes to $163.20 altogether. $163. $3.20. Now that does not include any GST. So we are going to take 10%, divide it by 100, and times it by the amount of $163.20, which will come out to $16.32. And then we're going to take the total amount, 163.20, and add on the GST. What do we get there? And that comes to 179.52. All right, now let's move on to question C. Now, question C is quite a tricky question when you really think about it. George had a total bill of $456.92, including GST. Calculate the pre-tax price of his bill. All right, now the problem here is that this price here we can't just take 10% and take it off. The 10% was calculated on the price beforehand. So let's just, when we do these questions, we have mentioned this earlier, you've got to use your the four boxes technique. So we had four boxes. And in one of them, in this one, we're going to write the amount, 456.92. This was the amount including GST. We've got to find the amount excluding GST. So how are we going to do that? Well, what you need to remember is that when you include GST, you've got 110% of the price, 100% representing the original price and the extra 10% representing the GST. So if we can figure out what 100% of the price is, you will find the original amount before the GST was added. So how do we do that? 
Um, there's a couple ways you can do it. And I think the best way is to go down. You can you could actually go to the left and you could work it out that way as well, but I think it'd be better to go down. And what you're going to do is you're going to think to yourself, what would I multiply 110 by to get 456.92? I can multiply it by some number. And the way to figure that out, I'll do it in red, is to go in the reverse direction and divide it. So we're going to go 456.92 and in the reverse direction, divide by 110. And we'll see what we get. And we get not a very nice number, 4.153. I'm going to write it all down. I think it is important. 15381818182, which is what we are timesing by, 4.153. 18182. Eight, eight, barely fit it in there. That's our number. And test it out. Go 110, multiply it by that number, and see that you get 456.92. And we've learned with our four boxes rule that we times both both of them by the same amount. Two. So what's a hundred times this? it would come out to $415.38. And that is the answer to question C.